guys welcome back to my channel so i am back to you with another video today is going to be kind of blog 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 style because i want to kind of take you along my day a little bit just to show you how i work towards my goals even on the weekends and uh, how you can not let the weekends get you off track so outfit just shorts shirt it's like a onesie but I kind of just tucked it in because I didn't feel like having it snap between my legs. So yeah, that's what I have on today. It's so dark in here, but you guys get the picture. I did a workout session this morning with Tay. Oop, let me make sure it's straight here. I did a workout session this morning with Tay. It was awesome. Got some awesome film for you guys. Can't wait to show you, but right now we're going to be late for the movie. So let's get out of here and go see the Lion King. It's like 8.30, 8.40 right now, guys. This is the earliest I've ever been to the movies, but it's the premiere weekend and tickets are like sold out almost for every showing. So we're just gonna get in early, get on out, get my Lion King fix, you know. So come on, let's go, let's go. Just got here to Flix Brew House. Ready to see Lion King? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go back to tickets. Again, it's early. I checked online and there was a lot of seats available. So hopefully there'll be plenty of seats available. Okay, what'd you think about the movie? It was good. It was good, it was so good. This is better. This sun is crazy. All right, show them your dance. Okay, so we are at the park now. We are walking up. I love coming to the park, like taking Liam to the park on the weekends because it's a good way to get some just steps in. But still before noon, which is crazy. I've been trying to start days earlier now versus later and just manage my time better. So it's a good part about it, right, Liam? Okay guys, so I'm here at the park just because I wanted to give my top tips on kind of how to stay on track during the weekend. Um, one of the biggest things I think is definitely counting your calories. So still logging your food that you eat, even if it's outside of the foods you would normally eat, because generally the foods that you enjoy on the weekend are gonna be a lot higher in calories. They're gonna be a lot more calorie dense. So you just wanna make sure that you're aware of how many calories you're consuming so you don't completely blow um, your hard work that you've been working towards all week long. So just count your calories as normal, no matter if it's foods you normally would eat or not. Um, just to make sure that you are still on track and you at least know where you're at. Even, again, if you're enjoying life, still just track. Um, there's a bug on me. <laughs> Another tip is going to be um, to still be active. So we went to a movie this morning and now we're at the park running around, having a good time. Yes, there's Liam here. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so we're at the park now running around, getting some physical activity in. So you should definitely do that, whether it's a hike, whether it's getting out in the park, going swimming, just doing stuff on the weekend that's fun, but also active. So where you're burning calories still while you're still enjoying life, you know? So it's okay if you do something sedentary like a movie, but then go out and do something active. So that's definitely gonna help if you just stay active during the weekend and don't just like sleep your weekend away or just like, you know, not do anything active. Another big thing, it kind of goes along with the eating and logging your food is going to be um, like when we were at the movies just now, it, they were serving brunch since it was a 9 a.m. movie. So Liam and I split a, a plate of waffles and there was like a little bacon too. So we split that and so there was like three waffles on there that were like, I don't know, maybe that big. They were like Belgian waffles and um, we just split them in half. So we split the meal in half. He can eat, <laughs> okay? Like he may be only five, but he's a big five-year-old, but he can eat. But we split that. So I recommend maybe splitting it with a friend 
um, a family member, um, boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever, just kind of split your portions. Generally, if you go to a restaurant, you know, you're gonna get a big plate of food, you know? So just splitting that or even saving half for now or eating half of it now, eating half maybe later, but still logging it is also going to keep you on track. So I think that the biggest mistake a lot of people make on the weekend is they just, oh, no wind. <laughs> I'm just trying to knock my camera over. A lot of the biggest mistake I think people make on the weekend is they just go full out, balls to the wall, just go crazy, enjoying life, drinking, all that stuff. But you have to understand those drinking calories, eating calories, everything adds up. So if you know where you stand each weekend while just tracking, <laughs> y'all, my camera's like gonna fall. If you know where you stand, then you'll be in a lot better position of not messing up all of your progress that you've made um, versus someone who's just like going free for all, not tracking. You know, it's really easy to really blow the hard work that you've put in. Okay, so I'm back home now and I just wanted to come and close out the video. Um, kind of just doing an overview of, again, the tips that I have for you guys to really stay on track of your goals during the weekend and not to just blow all of your hard work during the week. During the weekend is going to be one, to still count your calories, still track your calories at least, do your best. I know it's harder when you're at restaurants and things like that, but still try your best to keep track of what you're putting in your body, even if it's a cheat meal or a reward meal, whatever you wanna call it, keep track of that. Two is gonna be when you do go out to these restaurants and they give you a super large serving food split that serving with a friend uh, boyfriend girlfriend whoever um, because it's seriously a lot of food so splitting it or saving some for later is really gonna help you three is gonna be to get out and be active don't just do activities that are sedentary where you're not moving or sleeping um, try to get out there go for a hike go to the park go swimming go do something fun that's gonna get you active and you know get your body burning calories and then the biggest tip I have for you guys the biggest one is going to be enjoy yourself guys enjoy yourself the weekend is not meant for you to be stressing about oh my gosh am i gonna lose weight or if i eat this am i gonna gain weight i promise you in one weekend you will not ruin your progress it's all about the big picture and what you're doing consistently weekend after weekend okay don't stress about it if you do it the right way enjoy those cheat meals do it in moderation, track, know what you're putting in your body, you're gonna be just fine. So enjoy yourself, enjoy the weekend, and have fun. So there you have it, guys. Those are my top tips to stay on top of your goals during the weekend. Let me know what you do down below. Um, if you are just getting started on a weight loss journey or if you found yourself in like a plateau, um, maybe you're just not losing fat like you were at one point in time, or you just need some tips to help you get to the next level. I have created a free guide for you guys, absolutely free for you to download that you know you can implement into your journey. These are things that once I started implementing, I began really shedding fat very fast and I kind of got out of my plateau. So if you would like that free guide, please go ahead and download it below. Um, if you haven't already guys, please like, comment and subscribe on this video. It truly helps me out for my channel to grow. I'm still pretty new here, but I am coming with you guys with the consistencies. New uploads every single Monday, sometimes Sunday, you know, just depending how I'm feeling that week. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.